Tory group on Thanet Council have turned down a request from the MP for Thanet East, Mr Jonathan Aitken, for a private meeting to discuss the row over the business activities of their finance chairman, Councillor Cyril Hoser. Mr Aitken has called for the resignation of Councillor Hoser because of his involvement in a local land deal. But the Tory group say that if it's necessary to discuss the matter, they'd also want the MP for Thanet West, Mr Billy Rees Davis, present, and he's understood to be on holiday in Corfu. Detectives at Brighton today appealed for help in their search for a man who indecently assaulted a girl of seven yesterday afternoon. They've issued this description of the man. The attack took place in the Molescombe Wild Park at Brighton and police believe there were several people about at the time who may have seen him. The Vice Chairman of Dover District Council, Mr Raymond Norley, is facing magistrates in the town today on summonses alleging he failed to declare a financial interest in an issue being debated by councillors. Mr Norley, who is a Conservative and also a Kent County Councillor, has denied the summonses. The magistrates have been told that the Crown's case against Mr Norley is that he voted on the rating of empty properties at a time when he himself owned an empty property in Dover's High Street. The case is expected to last all day. There's been another protest church service outside the Goring and Ferring Free Church at Worthing. It was attended by the family of the sacked minister, the Reverend Paul Myerson. On Friday, the owners of the building will apply to the High Court for an order to keep Reverend Myerson and his family completely out of the church in future. The row began last November when a church meeting decided to sack Reverend Myerson. The church has been closed since early spring. 160 journalists and printers working for a series of local newspapers in Berkshire have threatened to go on strike if their firm is taken over by the publishing combine Argus Press Limited. Argus have offered £730,000 for the Reading newspaper company and the editors of the three papers in the group are fighting the takeover bid. Two petrol attendants at a West Sussex filling station were threatened with a wooden cosh last night by thieves who escaped with more than £200 from the safe. It happened at Cotswold service station in the village of Pease Pottage near Crawley when three men drove up in a dark green Triumph car. They locked both attendants in the lavatories before gaining the safe keys and stealing the money. Mr Robert Adley, the MP for Christchurch and Lymington in the New Forest, has formed a study group with local magistrates to look into shoplifting. He said he is concerned about the way some people are arrested for alleged shoplifting offences. It looks as if the woodwork in the 11th century Priory Church at Christchurch in Dorset is in danger of decay. Serious decay has been discovered in the timber ceiling and there are fears of serious structural problems. A survey by woodwork specialists has been ordered. Soccer now, and as you may have just heard in the ITN news, Brighton striker Peter Ward is among 22 players named today in the England squad who will meet Luxembourg next week. Ward, who's 22, scored three goals in his international debut as one of the overage players in the England under-21 side, which beat Norway last month. And finally, firemen were called to a house at Parkstone in Poole last night to rescue a man trapped on his roof. The man had gone onto the roof to adjust his television aerial, but couldn't get down. Well, that's the news from me, and now the weather from Trevor Baker. Well, it was a cold night last night with ground frost over much of the area, but things have been warming up this morning, and so far it's been a, quite a pleasant day. But things are deteriorating a little, and there will be more cloudy weather coming in from the west, and also a little light rain or drizzle during the evening and the night. That's coming from this warm front, which at the moment is giving drizzle only in Cornwall and in parts of southwest Wales and also in Ireland. It seems to be a very weak front, that's why I don't expect much rain from it when it comes through during the evening and night. For a time then we'll be behind it in what's called the warm sector with quite warm, moist air. And eventually this cold front will come in from the northwest, probably moving through the area during the course of tomorrow and giving more rain than the warm front will. But that is, uh, we're not quite sure of the timing because its movement towards us is rather erratic. This afternoon then, it'll be 
rather cloudy over the area, some sunshine at times, especially in the east at first, and temperatures up to about 15 degrees centigrade. But later in the afternoon, some rain or drizzle will spread to western counties, and in the evening and night they'll spread across further into the rest of the region. So most places will have a little rain or drizzle during the night. Uh, temperatures minimum tonight, about 10 degrees centigrade. Winds will be southwesterly, light at first, becoming moderate or fresh. And that's all. <laughs>